हरे कृष्णा एज लॉन्ग एज वी डोंट माइंड अंडर द माइंड द माइंड विल अंडर माइन एस माइनिंग रेफर्स टू डिगिंग डीप एज वेन वी डिग विन अ गोल्ड माइन और माइन ऑफ एनी प्रेशियस ओर अंडर माइन इज टू वीकन टू सबाज सो वी नीड टू माइन अंडर द माइंड दैट मीन्स वी वी ऑफ वी हैव अ इनर वर्ल्ड एंड इन द इनर वर्ल्ड द मोस्ट प्रोमिनेंट फैक्टर ऑफन इज द माइंड बट दो द माइंड इज प्रोमिनेंट इट इज नॉट द एक्चुअल इट इज नॉट एक्चुअली हु वी आर द माइंड इमोशंस आर नॉट आर इमोशंस द माइंड इमोशंस कम एंड गो वेल वी एज स्पिरिचुअल बींग्स exist beyond the mind so if we to the extent we understand this that we need to mine under the mind the bhagavad gita explains that in our inner world there are two there are two levels there is the mental and the spiritual there is the mind and beyond the mind is the soul with its energy of consciousness and we are the soul so if we want to understand our real self and live in harmony with our true nature and potential then we need to mine under the mind if we just keep listening to the mind eat this watch this touch this we will ruin ourselves but if we focus on mining under the mind then we understand ourselves as spiritual beings then then we learn to distance ourselves from the mind with its many fleeting uh, propositions for pleasure or pain avoidance and so forth and to ultimately mine under the mind we need to recognize not only ourselves as souls but recognize ourselves as souls who are parts of the whole so when we link with the whole then we get a inner shelter and inner anchor and then the more we are anchored in relationship with the whole the less we are affected by the pulls and pushes of the mind and that's how we can resist the mind so the bhagavad gita says in 67 jitatman prashantasya paramatma samahitah shitoshna sukha dukheshu tatha mana apamanayo that jitatman ha prashantasya that the mind becomes conquered uh, uh, that when becomes peaceful and uh, what is the test that the mind has become peaceful that the duality is coming from the outer world in terms of pleasure pain in terms of heat cold in terms of honor dishonor these don't affect us because we are situated at the level of the soul connected with the whole so paramatma samahitah so we need to if we want to discover our real self and live according to our true potential we need to mine under the mind otherwise the fleeting pulls propositions of the mind will keep undermining us thank you hare krishna